But yeah. I remember a time in Dubai where, where you remember these fake agencies where they were selling fake homes. Yeah, I hear I hear the bar. Yeah, uh, lots of people haven't gone. No, yeah. yeah. This is the, Alhamdulillah. Now they they yeah. they've cleaned all that up. You have to have a license if you want yeah, to yeah. sell real estate. You have mm. a background check mm. because what they now we have this one the escrow. So mm -hmm. if uh, any of these buildings or houses which is building, uh, you don't pay the money direct to the agent. developer. Yes, yeah. yes, I remember or the this. agent whatever. So you pay it uh, in the escrow account, which is connected with the uh, uh, our. Uh, Mm. which is uh, the land department we have. But uh, yeah, so so the finance book, what's the story behind that? Ah, the finance book. Yeah. It's not exactly finance, finance. You will not find a lot of numbers there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. But it is a book which will tell you how you can build your passive income. Okay. So you never know the future how it is. We have our family and um, we want to have a nice lifestyle as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, why not? We have to build our passive income. Mm -hmm. it's, um, we have to put it as a, a specific model or something. You know, it's either we go online or we start a business or something. And while we are sleeping, we can get our money. Interesting. Interesting. Yes. It's hitting our bank account, which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. But you, so you've never explored stuff like buying and selling stocks, ETFs, mutual funds or bonds? Of course I did. Of course I did. Actually, I am in uh, crypto, crypto mining. I saw it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you saw that. Yeah. Oh, the, the market is pretty down at the moment. It is down. Mm -hmm. It is down. I'll, I will not ignore that. But <laughs> you never know. It is the market. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a predict that maybe in January or in February that crypto it may go up. Mm -hmm. So, um, do you yeah. own own any currency at the moment? Uh, yes, I I I have like a in Binance a okay. couple of currencies, and uh, actually right now I'm doing the crypto mining. Okay. The crypto mining actually is we I'm I'm doing it for a good cause you can say mm -hmm. that uh, the company which I'm tied up with uh, they are investing in in Ghana like okay. in their infrastructure with Al their Makan, Ghana Makan. Al -Balad. Al -Balad. Okay. Ghana. Okay. Ghana. Okay. I thought maybe there's a cryptocurrency. Oh, Shahla, no. oh, Shahla. Okay. So they're investing in Ghana. They're investing in, in, in Ghana, mm -hmm. you know, like to, just to make it like um, more flourish than all those things. Uh, so they are investing in the natural gas, in the gold, in uh, the infrastructure and the uh, agricultures and all those things. So instead of we are buying. So you, you're, you're interested in this crypto exchange currency and with this company that's currently building up uh, uh, Ghana. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, Kefla so Gates, how did you find about it? It's all about my, uh, how I can tell you, it's about when 2020 started. <laughs> and you know, the pandemic, mm -hmm. and we have to sit in the home mm -hmm. peacefully. And um, I'm working actually in a bank. And uh, in the same time, I have my own business. It is an event management. Mm -hmm. So it it hit me so strong, especially when it is a pandemic. There is no social gathering. There's no networking. There's no parties, no events, nothing at all. So it hit my business a lot. It hit my cash flow and everything. Oh, man. Yeah. So there I felt that I have to do something else. Mm -hmm. which uh, it is for sure are going to build up my event uh, company once again. And Alhamdulillah, now it's gradually is going up. Um, but I have to do something else, which I know that while I'm sleeping, I'm mm -hmm. getting my money. <laughs> so from there, I started searching online. How did you start the event company? How did you start the business of the event company? 
كيف دخلت؟ اي ديد يو جاست يعني ون اوف يور فريندز تولد يو اباوت ات هي ذيس از ا جود بزنس او نو اوف كورس نوت يعني سم هاو ذا ايديا كيم او لا يعني ما سي يعني يس اي ليسن تو ماي فريندز فاميلي اند ذيس ثينجز بس ات ذا اند اي دو وات اي وونت هذا هذا طبعا كل واحد في حياتهم بس يو هاد كم وذ ذا ايديا يعني شيء يعني ما, ما تقولي الله قال لا 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 ذيرز ا ستوري ايل تيل يو اكشلي اي ستارتد ان 2008 ذيس از ذا اكزاكت وين اي started my my business but it was actually in a e-commerce for the baby essentials and the toys games and all these things so i've been like the first uae woman who's having an e-commerce website selling uh, selling online in 2008 where there was a crisis and all these things so i've been like uh, you know like an icon or something like that so But why I started this e-commerce and for the kids actually is based to my first child. Okay. She was my uh, baby girl. Mm-hmm. So what happened is, uh, is uh, in the morning, um, I-, I used to work actually in one of the companies and it was like um, uh, I was uh, uh, like a head of the part- uh, shared department. So I've got like uh, two to four departments under me. So for me, the work and the career was everything mm-hmm. at that stage. But when I got my baby, hmm, uh, what happened is in the, mor- uh, in the morning, I wake up. I used to take her to my mother's house while she's sleeping for sure. And at night, I take her back to my home while she's sleeping. So there is no chance, no time to see me. And for me, you know, why it's a why it's a for me uh, at that time, I did not felt because uh, I, I wanted to build my career. I want to be, to be something mm. in, in career as an employer and all these things. German women, German islands, they said, hey, you know, you should go and work. Oh, how did this come? Because well, this is it, yani, the, 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 the passion of wanting to go being career focused. But yeah, so, so because what made you be more career focused than family focused? Which better, Yanni? You just want um, to work? For me, I just will be frank with you. Like, um, I was a full of life. <laughs> I, I, I wanted to, uh, to continue my studies. I got my master's degrees and Mashallah. I graduated with merit and all Mashallah. things. Uh, I was planning to uh, to go for my PhD, but uh, the kids and the responsibilities is, is hold me um, back a little bit. But maybe in future I'll go for it for sure. Um, so at that time, I, I just my personality. I am a Capricorn, mm-hmm. so you know the Capricorns. They always they like to work. They are very مشتهدين يعني على أعمارهم. I'll pretend like I know what that means. I'll go yes. <laughs> No stars. I know about shots and get that. But it's okay. So you're a Capricorn and you said, Khalas, I want to go and join yeah. the business world. Would they have the banking f- immediately or you weren't I know. Sure? I, I started with the airlines. Mm-hmm. And then from the airlines, I went to the banking and then insurance and different, different and facility management. So when I quit my job and I started my own business, I wasn't a facility management mm-hmm. uh, business. Um, it was actually a joint venture company. So, it's, you know, you can understand the amount of the pressure because it's joint uh, company with friends and UAE. And uh, they wanted uh, to, uh, we were like um, the stage of development mm-hmm. of the company. So it was from the morning until the night, all working, working, working. And I just got my baby girl. And uh, that what happened. Uh, When all that scenario happened, I was not even thinking about it. I, th- I thought that uh, I'm, I'm doing all this at the end for my kids. But one incident happened, which has really waked me up. Uh, it was in my family gathering and uh, she became like six months. 
<laughs> so she have the sense that okay she is a, a, a mother or something like that but when I saw her I told her come I want to play with you so she was kind of like scared of me like uh, she don't know who, who I'm who am I oh. and uh, what just killed me a lot actually the nanny told her go go to her she's your mother she was whispering in her ears so then she came to me here I felt oh my god no I'm, I'm for sure I'm doing something wrong I have to do something um, I have to do something and I, there there is something hmm. wrong in the whole story hmm. so from there I, uh, I I I told my husband Khalas, I'm gonna stop my work I don't want to be an employer anymore I want to see my kid until she become big uh, older then maybe I'll go back to work so I mm-hmm. quit uh, you know like when I was in the top of my um, Okay. Uh, كان صعبة أو ما كان يعني. كان صعبة شوي. Yeah. يعني كنت خلاص يعني. يعني if I continued, I might be something. <laughs> بس, <laughs> بس صعب لأن عندك بعد تفيل يعني يعني connection مع مع الناس بالشركة ويعني تحس يعني if you let go منهم that yeah. you're it's almost like second family يعني بالشركة حلوة. Yeah. يصير زي العائلة. So it's very difficult to a, a smart a separation. Well, I know people يعني they've left their job for سنوات and they still get messages mm. من, من الستاف ومن الشركة نفسهم يسألون كيف حالكم أو عندنا مشكلة زي كذا أو تقدر give us advice على شغلة زي كذا. صحيح. It's, it's so صحيح. it is a family بعد هم عائلة بعد بس. Mm. Uh, في النهاية بتشوف عائلتك طبعا 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 زين فهذا اللي استوى فقدمت استقالتي <تصفيق> وبما اني انا من النوع اللي احب اشتغل ما احب اكون جالسه في مكان واحد ففكرت ان انا ببتدئ بزنس الخاص <تصفيق> فبديت بالاي كوميرس ويب سايت ويتش اي تولد يو ابوت ات اند ذن افتر 1 2 ييرز Uh, I got a lot of comments and feedbacks from my customers telling me, Zahra, you have a very nice products. You have a lot of toys, games and all these things. Why you don't start an event? Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. So it's Bahamla been linked. Team. Okay. So uh, actually, it's not from a family or a friends. It was from my customers. Mm-hmm. So uh, then I said, okay, if my customers want that, so let's do it. So I started my event uh, company business in 2016. Well, an events what was circulated about corporate or birthdays, weddings. I started. Uh, it's it's called sit jump play event. Okay, we'll add it to the description. We'll put it on the bottom. <laughs> okay. Okay. As um, ف uh, what I was saying Sorry. birthdays weddings corporate uh, yes I started actually for the individuals which okay. is for my customers it was like a birthdays graduations union uh, you know mm-hmm. uh, anniversaries and all these things and then from there I started uh, working with the corporates and the governments doing uh, you know like um, uh, like a family days a sport days entertainment Marshall, uh, and all these things okay. yeah Uh, and then in the uh, in the malls like uh, activations and uh, you know like um, uh, entertainers performers and all those things now i'm planning to go for the conferences and for the uh, uh, you know the exhibitions and these things so i want to okay mashallah yeah. but sports days with that kind of stuff was it very difficult to source goods because i know a lot of times especially when it comes to corporate co- contracts and payment is 60 90 days but uh, supply this you know to buy these things they want the cash today you know I mean? yes, yes, yes see uh, i i faced that problem especially when i just started i didn't know that mm-hmm. things so it, it, it all came out of my pocket <laughs> Okay. Until I get it after 60 days or six months or whatever. Yeah, some, <laughs> some of them six months. Yes, I know. So that's why I'm um, uh, right now. Uh, I'm, I'm not taking a lot of uh, these kind of companies or uh, governments uh, who uh, I have to pay up front mm. until I build up my uh, event company once again. Because you know that we've gone through the crisis. Papa. Yeah. Uh, 
but uh, most of the time I work with the uh, private companies and with them it's it's, it's okay and I can ask them for the advance and all those things but uh, with the companies who I have they're gonna pay me after 60, 70 <laughs> one year okay uh, Alhamdulillah I have a good relationship with my suppliers with my entertainers and all those things so if I told them okay just انتظروا uh, they know that uh, I'm not gonna run away I'm a local <laughs> from UAE so I'm here so they compromise with me as well so and and that's a good thing لأن الأخير ما ما عندك الفلوس ما عندك الفلوس طيب هم ما دفعك ما دفعك يعني if they haven't paid you what can you do يعني what وش تب بس بعد يعني it's also it's also صعب على وجهك أنت يعني it's also hard on yourself when you have to tell somebody somebody listen I want to but yes yes بس يو نو جو كول ذيم يا 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 بس الحمد لله تل ناو ناثينج لايك ذات هابن تو مي يعني ذا بيبل هو ويتد الحمد لله ذي ويتد اند ات ذا اند ذي جوت ذير موني واز ات ذا بيجر كونتراكتس ذات توك لونج تايم اور ذا سمولر كونتراكتس ذات توك لونج تايم اتس 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 سيم اتس ريلي اتس ريلي سيم I mean, for those kind of companies, you know, like... For me, I've discovered it if it's... I've discovered two things, because we have another factory that that does majish. Uh, mm, mashallah. With them, it's very by the book, طبعا. Mm. And ما في مشكلة. If they say 60, they mean 60, 60 say 30, yes, 30, yes. 30, 90, 90, خلاص. Mm. There's no so you know. around. But from other companies, they will ask you for a bid, مثلا. شغال حق I don't know let's say 50,000 درهم and um, then after two weeks of back and forth they'll go no 50,000 maybe this project is too small now we want uh, 25,000 and then before you know it uh, yeah, one month passes by where you're entertaining yeah. them yeah. and the contract turns from something that's anywhere between 150,000 dirham to something that's 10,000 dirham and then you're like oh my god not worth my time we should get someone yeah I wasted one month I had to get back back and forth yeah and, the, and they are reducing yeah and then خلاص يعني واحد ثاني oh um you have to chase up on them and they're like purchasing manager sick and then who is sick and then we need to walk out before we can release the check okay. and then yeah <laughs> So I've I've waited sometimes on payables a year and a half almost. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Where it, it gotten so bad that I was like, listen, يعني, I will have to stick it out of your This is mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. This is getting out of hand. They go, la, we just a few more days. Ooh, blah blah blah. This is bad shake. I'm just yani. We're talking yani, sizes from Microsoft to IBM. Wow. Shop. So this yeah. is it, it, it's no excuse. It should, yeah. yeah. There's no excuse. It's yeah. not yani. What had they? Bishar, I'm asking. Small, yani. Souk or shay. That's the thing. They think that okay, uh, we are an event company. We can entertain them, and we just leave uh, <laughs> without getting paid for it. <laughs> you, you know what you should do? You should do a list and uh, get yourself a U.S. listing. In Nevada, it's like a, it's like, خمسمية درهم. Okay. And you can register your company in the U.S. Mm-hmm. And it makes a huge difference, at least for my business, I've noticed, uh, when dealing with clients, because okay. then you don't say it's a Bahraini company, you say it's an American ah, company. Ah, oh, yeah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. oh my god. Then they, especially with yeah, blood. everything changes. <laughs> everything changes. Everything changes. I know. Yeah. I know, I know. I've, I've gone through that a lot. And and for Bahrain, I don't know how it works in, in, in the UAE, but a lot of business owners in Bahrain, uh, when they have a partnership, whatever, whatever, yeah. they will list a company, not just at CR in Bahrain, but they will list it also in America. And they will make sure that all the assets hmm. are registered on the US entity. And it's because they are afraid of the or the Bakshish. Oh, that okay. maybe my partner will try to cheat me. Oh, how he cheat me, Anna? Oh. So they they put oh, yeah. the whole thing in America. So then there's no there's nothing anyone can do. Yeah, this but there is a taxes in America, right? Uh, not on not on income, only on taxes. So okay. as long as you make sure that your books, your entire budget goes back into R and R up to to R and D, or this is another taxation mechanism. But this only makes sense if you're a larger company. It doesn't really make sense if you're, hmm. if you're five employees. Where you have the dual listing in the U.S. and in, in Bahrain. Hmm. And then you, you have the assets 
on on the the US side but you'd have your entire expenditures in the Bahrain side so when you when you present your books you move the costs from that the, on there and you move the profits from this company to that asset all right this so. is this is how apple does it for example with their um with their uh, uh, taxation ireland okay so yeah. it's like Bing-bong. Yeah, exactly. So okay. th- that's why that's why, for Google has not paid taxes in the UK for years. Mm-hmm. Um, I think they've generated close to one point one point seven million pounds. Wow! And they paid ten million taxes. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, it's the same thing with Starbucks. Uh, same thing with Microsoft. A bunch of companies do that uh, uh, mm. in order to, to bring it down. Mm-mm-mm. So. Take that, but it's shot. It's a lot of work. Uh, I, it's lots of work. <laughs> yeah, you have to hire two accountants and have to do a licensing. Yeah, it's like you're opening two different companies. Well, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. But okay, so so you've you've done now the the event management, and how did you get yourself into crypto? Crypto. Mm. That's what I told you. Uh, 2020, <laughs> in the quarantine, when I was at home and uh, I got a crash of my cash flow. There, I thought about uh, I have to do something which is totally different. Mm-hmm. Uh, then I start serving the net. Mm-hmm. I came to know about the online uh, business and uh, about the other companies, which is the you know like how to do the networking marketing mm-hmm. and um, about the crypto and all the other things. Uh, and I started from there. And how how did you find a, a, a crypto? Did it was very easy for you to understand mechanisms of a blockchain, uh, the volatility. See, I'm of an market. IT person. I'm a computer engineer. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and and you know, being an an engineer in this field, you have to uh, update yourself from time to time. Mm-hmm. And uh, so I know about the technology, the blockchain, and all these things. Anyhow, so uh, when. Uh, when they start talking about the crypto and uh, about the blockchain and all these things, so it was easy for me to connect. Mm-hmm. But uh, it was a bit difficult, you know, because of the different uh, um, uh, companies like the Binance and Co and FTX or whatever yes, right now. And, 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 and these hot things, water, yeah. yeah. Each of them they have their own ways, like how you can transfer and the gas. I wasn't. Uh, I had some issues to understand the gas fee, like uh, how much is taking and mm. and all these things until I I got it now. Yeah, alhamdulillah. So it it's easy for me to do it. Yeah. And do you believe in and what are they called NFCs? Yeah, is it a NFC now? NFTs. NFTs. Oh, of course I believe in it. I want to start a startup. Actually, I'm okay. in. Um, uh, I'm in my way for. Uh, you know, to, to find an investors or a partners mm-hmm. because I want to start uh, a startup in NFTs. Okay. I have a very unique and different idea. Okay. Which uh, I think no one thought about it. It's that the concept is of course of, is there because you know the NFT scheme from USA and Europe and all those things. It will be available there. But I don't think it will be available in GCC. And that strongly, but with the, with the concept that I'm adding on it, it's something unique. Mm-hmm. So I hope I get the investor or a partner as soon as. So do they have here in the UAE the same as Bahrain? Do you have, do you have like Biban and uh, Hope Foundation or something like that? Or Tamkin and come next to Shabla, but but of course with different names. But so this idea is that the you, same concept, same yeah. concept. You yeah. can pitch your your business idea, and you can mm. find investors through those channels. See, for me, it's a bit difficult because I have a business already, which is like uh, it's not like um, uh, in a startup company. Mm-hmm. It's um, you know my event company and all these things. It's is considered as a company. Mm-hmm. So when I come and tell them, okay, I want to, I want to do a startup and I need investors and all these things, they see me as a, a company who's having an asset, who's having a money. Mm-hmm. So if I'm a, a new, a new person, they, for an example, they may give them like eighty mm-hmm. percent, and for me because I already in the business and in the field, they may give me like twenty percent, and the rest you put it in your uh, from your pocket. Okay. Got me? So that's that's the difference, which is I'm I'm a little bit, uh, you know. Hmm. Well, I, I find it interesting because 
a lot of the businesses that I see in Bahrain, uh, not so much in Saudi, but Bahrain, is that they're they're asking for investor capital, and they they have no skin in the game. You know, they've not mm-hmm. they haven't put any assets. Uh, they put no cash flow in at all. Okay. And they want hundred percent from from. And I don't hundred percent. Come on. I don't know. <laughs> this is what I'm telling you. I I I know a few businesses um, uh, that have been on the show, and they've said, "Hey, listen." I'm not going to put a single penny of my own money in it. I'm just going to get other people's money. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> good luck. Yeah. People want to invest in you. Alhamdulillah. But um, what, what makes you believe that NFTs is a serious thing? Convince me. Convince an unbeliever. How, how, does, how do you think that NFTs can, can be uh, used yeah. in society? Um, Maybe you see something I don't because I don't understand. Yeah, you don't believe in it? I don't get it. I don't get it. Why you don't get it? It's, um, it's something easy. To do. It's a domain. You know, it's not a domain. It is. NFT, it is like a non-fungible token. token. Yeah. It's the domain which you are talking about, like the open seas and the Binance and all these things. This is a marketplace. It's the same as what you are doing like in e-commerce. You have a product, you put it in the a marketplace, which is in the, the e-commerce website, and then you buy and sell things, right? Sure. Here, it is a non-fungible uh, token, okay, and it is available in the uh, the marketplace, which is like uh, Open Seas and Binance and some other places. Or you can you have your own marketplace. You can build it up. Mm-hmm. The same. Oh, okay, but what is makes you confident of this NFT? Because it is available in the blockchain. Every NFT, it has its own um, code, mm-hmm. which is available there in the blockchain. Mm-hmm. Whenever, let's say you put it in the market and someone has bought it from you. So it, it will move. Uh, A copyright. Yes, it will go from you to him, mm-hmm. but it will have the history in the blockchain. So uh, when I will ask about the history of this NFT from anyone, they can get it so easily for me and they can say that that you are the the main person of this nft well go on okay so now here is like how you sell and buy Mm -hmm. it is uh you know like uh, it's 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 easy like uh, you you can start with the um a hundred dollars or maybe fifty dollars or something and then you start buy and sell on it and this increase or decrease Here's my problem both with with a crypto and with NFTs. Crypto it has its own issues, and I'll, 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 we can talk about it in a second. My my with non fungible tokens. First of all, it's it's not that the image itself is on the blockchain. It's just the ID of the image, right? So it, the the entire size of the image, which is might be like five megabytes, is not stored on the blockchain. It's only <laughs> the copyright of that ID, right? So that's still hosted on a domain somewhere. That image. Okay, but, but the blockchains cannot be, uh, you know, breaked or. I understand. I mean, yeah. from from I, I think NFTs make sense in contracts, absolutely. Okay. Uh, I don't think it makes sense of like you know those what are they called apes? You know the. Uh, yeah, the apes. Okay. Apes. I don't th- that I don't understand. See, at all. No, no, no. I'll tell you why. Why it is expensive, especially the apes. <laughs> okay. okay, let's hear it. <sighs> Every NFT it has a a background have a community behind it mm-hmm. it's not nfts only you put it in the market you buy and sell no every uh, every nft it has a story mm-hmm. let's say that an apes with a, a lollipop or apes with a hat this having a different different prices but these different prices is giving you a different benefit okay from the back end because there is a community behind every nft Okay, so like the apes, like uh, they have like a, a networking uh, community that uh, they so are like meeting in the yacht. Yeah, ah, okay, so it's like they are meeting in the yacht, and also will be like a VIP people. So for you as a business owner or a person who's doing uh, you know a trading or something, it's very vital and important for okay, you. Now to it makes yacht. more sense what you're saying. Got me? Okay, you have this one. Uh, you know that speaker was his name, Gravy. Gra- uh, Gary V. Gary V. Yeah. He have an NFT, mm-hmm. but uh, which NFT he's have? He's a fish. Hey. Because he's have, a, I think, a restaurant in one of the states in USA. Mm-hmm. 
okay so if you have that nft you can enter that um, that restaurant and you can have your food and who will be there في ما حد زي كذا البحرين في اي بي بيبل Yeah. في ما حد زي كذا بالبحرين. It's a very secret kind of. I don't know. So, this is incompetence as always. What we find a lot in the Middle East, more, more sadly. And it was this bar slash restaurant. Okay. <laughs> they decided, خلاص. What's our USP? We'll make a U, U, NFC, uh, yes. U, uh, uh, NFT uh, membership. The mm. مشكله was they it created a huge hype in the market and people wanted to buy it. Mm. Except ال ال supply end were incompetent of meeting demand. <laughs> oh, <sure. laughs> so they were getting, I think, close to three or four hundred phone calls a day. Wow. Okay, that's good. That's good, but they yeah. didn't they didn't leverage it because I know ma. I mean, they didn't know how to, to to deal with it. You know, uh, they, I think maybe they just shoot it as an idea. Yeah. yeah. They did not plan well for it. I, If they want to do it, because it is something massive. It's something massive. I'll be frank with you, because it's it's really giving you something uh, in the back end. In same time, you are trading, you are having your money in trades, and same times you are getting something as a benefit. It, it, yeah. See now that that makes more sense to me with when you're saying stuff like yeah, uh, membership because what I'm shop, what shop. I'm going to do. Of course, this will not be only an, an, an NFT that is yeah. sell and buy. There's. A community behind it. There is lots of big things which is behind it. Mm-hmm. But inshallah, when I start, <laughs> do you, I, I don't. Do you think that there is there is a world that's going to come about where people can enter hotels and restaurants based on the NFT that yes. they have? You think that's that's something that's it's happening. It's happening. There is a fashion shows with NFTs uh, and metaverse. Mm. There is uh, you know uh, some banks, some real estates. They are using it. I know that Goldman Sachs uses uh, uses their own crypto exchange or crypto coin, but yeah. they do it in order to to obfuscate accounts. Yeah, I mean, uh-huh. they do it so they don't have to show how. Because so so this is the really interesting part, and I, I could be mistaken, but I believe it's Goldman Sachs. Uh, it's when they have two companies, for example, that work very closely together, uh, buy and selling because they're supply or whatever, whatever. But they're in house within Goldman Sachs, and they want to trade. They can use the portal. Of Goldman Sachs mm. as a as its own currency, so they don't have to have it on the balance sheet, so they can yes. obfuscate the accounts and stuff like that. So that's yeah. that's what that's what's big right now. Matt, I think Matt, Matt Diamond what was his name, the guy Danny. Was his name Matt Diamond? No, no, the CEO from I forgot the banker Diamond something. Yeah, he got in trouble recently. <laughs> Because of cryptos, <laughs> I think he got in trouble because uh, his his accounts were let's put in bad standing. Oh yeah, okay. And I think they tried to investigate his accounts, and it came back that it would take them 30 years. Huh? Yeah, it would det- oh. it would take the financial department to to undo. His, what he's did, what the he did, and twists, <laughs> and twists, and and khaba, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and shell corporations. They this is what the BBC reported. They said it took it would take them 30 years, 30 years to understand <laughs> what was going on. It's a life. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's amazing. I mean, you know, he's good. He's okay now. Ah, uh, he's okay. Yeah. Good. So if he's okay, so it's okay. Well, <laughs> bankers usually end up okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What, what during what was it? 2008, the financial crisis. Only one person went to jail in the entire banking industry. And I think he didn't even go to jail. I think he went to six months. <laughs> Provision and came yeah, back. back up. That's it. They, I mean, you remember how the housing market crashed in 2008 yes. and how everyone was panicking. Yeah, yeah, the Wall Street and everything. It's just was crashed. Everything's down. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I remember the, the days where, when banks would, would take bad loans and mix it in with good loans. And mm. they called it AAA bonds and stuff like that. Yes, and be like, yes, oh. yeah. And they were just They made a movie of it as well. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's, 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 it, there's also a book called, um, called Black Swan. Black Swan? Yeah. Okay, it's about this? It's about this, um, and it's by a guy called Dr. Doom. Okay. His last name is Doom, and he has a doctorate in finance, and he explains the whole process. The whole process, what happened, and things. Mm. I have to go and read it. Yeah. Next one, yeah. It's really, really interesting. He got fired from his job because he was trying... <laughs> because he wrote the book. <laughs> he was trying to warn his boss. He was saying the numbers don't make, make sense. 
Right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, he got fired because uh, they said you're 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 doom and gloom, mm. and uh, you're projecting something that isn't there. And three yeah. months li- later, he was right. So he's right. Yeah. No one like the um, odds, which is different. So yeah. I mean, people don't talk about this, especially when it comes to real estate. Mm. Um, I have some friends. They bought a house just before the 2008 crash. And it's been more than 10, almost 15 years later. And only now has the price of the home reached the same level as what they did when they bought it. Can you imagine? So for 15 years, basically, so, no value yet. <laughs> no value no, at no, all. No value at all. Yeah. It was just sitting. Unbelievable. And if it, sure. yeah. And it was, it was within, I think, a week where the market crashed. <laughs> so they bought it, I think, at two, at three hundred thousand mm. dollars, and I think uh, the value at the time, a week later, was close to ninety thousand dollars. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, because um, you know, in, the, in that crisis time in two thousand two thousand eight, uh, I got a couple of my friends. You know, like uh, before the crisis, the, there was lots of real estates, houses, flats. Uh. Ahmad Zakka Sayat, you remember all the cars that people would leave uh, at the airport with ah, the key inside, and they would yeah, they, they run away. They run away, they run away yeah, yeah, and they were hoping that if they left the key inside, that somebody would steal it, and so. They they can claim an insurance alley. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. So this, <laughs> I know that they just ran away. <laughs> yeah, they, they left it in the airport with the key inside because they were hoping that somebody would just yeah, take yeah, it. Yeah, okay. So. And I remember, I think they auction off those cars. Yes, they, they do like an auction. I don't know, same as in Bahrain. Yeah. Yeah, because of those cars, they just take it and do the auction and halas. Yeah. And I that, I know that there was at one point where there was so much liquidity in Dubai, they were selling villas with a Lamborghini. So if you <laughs> bought the car, if you bought the house, you got a Lamborghini, a Lamborghini or a McLaren yeah. or something like this. Yeah, yeah. And they did yeah, it for, yeah. for hundreds and hundreds of these homes. Yes, yeah. yes. And then the crash came. <laughs> gone, all gone suddenly. <laughs> Take the Lamborghini. Yeah. But, but really, uh, my friends, there was a very big, you know, like, uh, crisis by themselves as well mm-hmm. because uh, they have to pay off and it's become like inflation and uh, they saying no the flasses will be more uh, uh, expensive than uh, you bought it and it was a lot yeah, yeah. alhamdulillah al hukuma they really stepped up and they've really cleaned up a lot yeah, of what was happening alhamdulillah yeah. i remember a time in dubai where, where you remember these fake agencies where they were selling fake homes yeah, I hear I hear the bar. Yeah, uh, lots of people haven't gone. No, yeah. yeah. This is the, alhamdulillah. Now they they yeah. they've cleaned all that up. You have to have a license if you want yeah, to yeah. sell real estate. You have mm-hmm. a background check mm-hmm. because what they now we have this one the escrow. So mm-hmm. if uh, any of these buildings or houses which is building, uh, you don't pay the money direct to the agent. developer. Yes, yeah. yes, I remember or the this. agent whatever. So you pay it uh, in the escrow account, which is connected with the uh, uh, our. Uh, Rera, mm. which is uh, the land department we have with the government. Hey, so like this, if anything happened with a building, with the whatever the investment I'm doing, I know my money is there. Because I can I can take it easily. I remember there were people who, who put down payments on homes for 50,000. Uh, yeah, and just like And the guy just run away. run away. And then they would contact the, the buildings, the, the contractor and go, we saw. There's lots of people they have to pay back for the you know for, for the people who's invested yeah, yeah, yeah. just from their pocket because of the developers are away yeah Alhamdulillah, I'm, I'm very happy that they've really, 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 really cleaned up. Yes, now it's organized, clean. everything. Yeah, and it, yeah. There is no way for any kind of, you know, frauds or something. Well, Alhamdulillah. It's, a, it's also normal. I mean, think about what, what happened in Dubai in 30 years. Man, when Khan, al we saw. Mm, yeah, mashallah. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. This, mm. this doesn't, yeah, I mean, of course, you're going to have things that are, mishaps are going to happen. But mm. they're really switched on and they dealt with it. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, we are very fast. Yeah. yeah absolutely. And, uh, absolutely. Whenever they see there is anything uh, wrong is going on just by the click of the hand as Wallah, I wish it was in Bahrain was the same way as Aikum. Wallah, <laughs> everything is slow, nothing is ever any sad. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Oh God! But okay, so so you're you're the 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 crypto exchange. You want to you want to be a miner as well, or you're not interested? In mining? I'm mining now. You're mining already. I'm mining. I'm mining in these projects which I told you about the Ghana one. Hey. And then isn't the so I'm uh, I'm uh, mining in the uh, natural gas. Okay. So I'm I'm planning now to also mine in um in the in the gold and these things. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you meant mining, mining, not crypto mining. It's okay. See, wait. <laughs> oh yeah. Wait. What? Okay. They are doing the mining, yeah. but they are uh, making it in in a form of a crypto. Mm. It's not like I'm mining exactly in the gold itself. No, but I'm mining in a crypto which is supported by the the gold. Ah, <laughs> Get me? Okay. 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 So it's on the gold exchange, or you mean the the mining activities for the Kahaba and Shalzi that is supported? But Mecca? it happens by uh, crypto. By happens by crypto. Interesting. Yes. Okay. But it's 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 really very interesting. Here you can build your passive income. You know, like if there is two ways: either you rent or you buy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you rent it, so they're giving you like uh, some time, like uh, uh, within sixty days, within uh, one month, or something like that. So every day you can see that, uh, like uh, from ten. Uh, 10 to 15 percent is adding up to your account which is a passive mm -hmm. okay and after the 60 days is ended up then it will goes back with the uh, with the price of the market mm -hmm. so it will be like a trading normal trading but if you want to buy a license of this mining so uh, you have it uh, you can keep it for 10 years or for uh, you know, 15, 15 years or something like that. Okay, wow. So uh, you can, uh, the minimum that you can buy is 2,500. Okay. And uh, yeah. you can, that dollar. Dollar, okay. Dollar. And then, so you buy it, hmm? and uh, for the 10 years, imagine that every, every day you, you get. You get dividends, basically. Yeah. Okay. So and why, like why wouldn't you just buy uh, an NFT? Why wouldn't you just buy a, 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 a a bond or a, 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 a not LFT TFN no um, <laughs> down J uh, uh, what's it called down J down J the coin la 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 huh. not a bond uh, L, Danny what's it called what's a down J part of TFL LFT, something like that. I forgot the acronym for, for whatever reason. I think too many interviews. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> no, it, it, like uh, you can buy the DAX, the Down J. Uh, you can buy uh, uh, S&P okay, 500. Okay. I got it, I got it, I got it. Uh, you mean, um, okay. I forgot the, 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 the acronym. Yes, yes, yes. Because they have an ROI. But, but I know, I know it is. A dash, it? percent, percent. <clears throat> yeah, it is, yeah. So it's very safe. <laughs> not 100% I'll be frank with you okay you don't trust it it's not like I don't trust it but it happened for me like I invested in that mm -hmm. footsie in Dow Jones mm -hmm. in Dow Jones I invested and I bought it some shares and in between I got corona mm -hmm. <laughs> okay and I fell sick mm -hmm. and Pulled there was some open trades mm -hmm. Okay, there were some open trades and I fell sick and I was very sick. I hospitalized and all this things for 15 days, close to 20 days. So when I came back, my account was zero. <sighs> okay. Because of those open trades, it's just, okay. though I have put in the stop loss and uh, take profits. <laughs> That's so nothing, zero, zero, zero. Now after one day, one year, two years, I don't know who is calling me, in fact, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, they are telling me that uh, it's, it's right your account went zero, but there was some shares which is inside this uh, Dow Jones, mm -hmm. which uh, you still have it, and it is lying there in the market. You have to take it out. Mm -hmm. So now I don't know if they are spams or real people. <laughs> I don't know. Well, do you, can you not? Who, with who did you do the trade with? It's the, from the company who I did the trade. Yeah. But uh, I, I, I don't know. There are different people are calling me. Okay, that's strange. That's a strange. I mean, the, the person who I was contacting him, he's not there anymore. They said he left the company. Mm. So 
different different people from different different departments, different countries they are calling me and telling me that you have your money inside there take it out from the market but you have to pay money <laughs> there we go so i said ah oh, you guys are spam <laughs> so you know how how they knew my name how they knew my information and all these things well i mean we i work but with when you go for the crypto you don't have to put your uh, you, you your, put your name but you have your secure code hmm. I don't know why I'm very defending crypto. Crypto, well, crypto well, if it works, it works. NFTs, yeah, it's working. If, if Egypt, 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 I don't, I don't believe it, but if it works for you, it works for you. <laughs> I work with a broker, and um, ah, it's, it's working with you. I, I tell them to, to to buy S and P and DAX and uh, some mutual funds, and it's okay. Oh, okay. I mean, you don't get dividends, obviously, on on these shares. What you mm. get is a return on value. So, inshallah, that the that the the market value of of those shares increases over time. Mm-hmm. Inshallah. And that's it. And then from the dividend side, I get okay dividends, mm. um, about eight to to twelve percent. Okay. And I just continually reinvest it and reinvest it and reinvest okay. it. I never touch it. I never pull it out. Ah, so you just buy. And just buy and hold. Put it and uh, hold it. Yeah. So you don't trade on it. Okay. You're not leveraging nothing. No. Uh, Why would I do that? Leveraging <laughs> is, is, is... It's scary and risky. Yeah, I know. Yeah. There's a guy that I know that, that does something really, really interesting. And he looks at buying... Uh, I forgot the term. Dan, what's it called when you, when you, when you buy a stock where you think that's going to go price? down can you look it up there's a special term for it I forgot what it's called because you 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 take it against your 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 in, not interest you take it against your no when you buy stock and you expect the price to go down oh, I forgot the term but yes, yeah, so so I know a guy who who does that, and he buys tech tech stock, specifically medical tech stock, hmm. and the expectation is that about eighty to ninety percent of medical R and D companies that get registered actually fail to meet market the market needs. Yeah, exactly, and so that's false. Huh? No, call option is, is when for for when you think for a price to, to either buy or sell. Uh, no, there's a special term. Keep looking at it. Um, but yeah, so so he was telling me about it, and he said, however, when mm. when it does go wrong, it goes wrong really badly. Yeah, and so you could be bad. leveraged against thirty times your multiple. So, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. He's really, really I brave. felt very bad when I lost it. <laughs> huh? Shorts. Thank you. So he shorts a lot of um, medical stock, specifically okay. when R on R and D. And eight out of ten times, the stock would fall. Fall, uh, yeah. Because they would just whatever they promise to the market and whatever patents they supposedly have yeah, yeah. is vapeware. But you know there is a risk management. There is a there is like a study, like a, um, when when you go to the market, especially when you want to buy. You mm. want to trade, so you have to know exactly, <laughs> you know. So you sat down and really analyzed this whole. This yeah, whole you game. have to analyze it. You have to analyze it. You have those candles which is going up and down and all these things. So you have to analyze it properly, and then you you can build your risk analysis according to that. Then mm. you can buy and sell. Mm. But otherwise, uh, like past indicators, uh, without, not future indicators. Yeah, success. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> So I don't know. I mean, I I, I believe in, in I I'm I'm very much a Warren Buff kind of guy. I buy value over growth. Okay. Um, I like holding on to things. I think that's the methodology. I only look at the market once every five years. Wow. If there's a stock or a company that I really believe in, you be it on. Tesla, be it Apple, be it whatever, and I think, hey, you know what? I don't think that price starts the company. Hmm. I look at EBITDA and it's multiple. Okay. Yeah. And I'll then tell my stockbroker, hey, you know what? I think this looks like good. Buy me some things like that. Hello. Okay. And I sit oh, on it. Okay. So you just tell him buy for me and sell and that's it. Exactly. That's Happy. it. I mean that's Life. that's <laughs> that's it. That's it. I don't I don't care about I mean they take a few percentages off and I know a few friends of mine who are analysts. Yes. Um so they actually they actually sell the information to brokers. 
All right. Okay. So they are like the the first the the very first <laughs> the first in the unit, right? Yeah. And um, this guy was really really interesting, and he was telling me that some of the stuff that happens in the analytical side is just crazy. Mm. Uh, his boss told him that uh, a specific I can I can't mention the company name, but his boss told him that that he should increase projection by thirty percent. And oh. he he was he showed him the numbers and he showed at most from the formula the most I can increase projection is eight percent if it's good and his boss said well just fudge the numbers it doesn't matter and that's the numbers that they would then sell to brokers yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. super super interesting it's very interesting mm. yeah yeah they make it as a as a business itself yeah yeah I mean they... there is you know like. Um, One exchange is called uh, FTMO. Mm-hmm. FTMO. Mm-hmm. So there is, uh, it's like you go through a training or something with them, and then they certify you like an, a certified trader. Mm-hmm. So then you can start with them and, and, and you know, like a uh, funded account. Mm-hmm. Okay, because they know that if you started a funded account and you graduated with them, the FTMOs, and you have that certificate, so you can you can gain money and you're not gonna lose it. I don't. So I, it is a business itself. I I mean I don't believe in that kind of stuff. I don't believe in brokers other than when you tell a broker what to do. Okay. I don't trust him with <laughs> making financial decisions. Of course, uh, yeah, it's your money. Well, that you know, and and second of all, uh, you know. I, Most brokers don't beat alpha, mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> it's 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 e- it's better to leave your money running on the Dow J and not touch it and just sit and hold than it is to trust that broker to somehow beat 11%, percent. You know. Yes, you're right. You, you never know. And oh, when he will be crushed. <laughs> absolutely. And and you know the problem is also in, from the investor perspective, especially when they look for a broker, uh, they all want a minimum of 15% percent return. You know. Mm-hmm. So the greed is one problem from that nahia with Sani is they want interesting. A lot mm. of investors don't want to hear from a broker, oh go buy, I don't know, Netflix, go buy Apple. Ayo. They want to hear yani, the next unicorn. Everyone Plus. wants yani. So so and that's that's an initial problem where then you end up with a broker who's investing in all this kind of very 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 strange industries. Yeah. And maybe making a return of of eight percent. Yeah. So I don't know. Warren Buffett always used to say, "You don't buy stock, you buy company." So uh, you don't buy stock, you buy a company. No, you don't buy stock, you buy a company. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. You, it's just to, you're, you're buying the company because you like it, not because of whatever the stock. The stock is up or down. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Yeah. So. So yeah, you're right. Yeah. I don't know. That's that's just him, and he did very well for <laughs> for Wakto. <laughs> oh, okay. It seems your broker is nice. <laughs> so, I mean, Warren is. I mean, that's not my broker. Warren Buffett isn't my broker, but uh, he's. You know, Warren Buffett. He wrote uh, the, yeah. the the the. He writes a yearly uh, publication. What's that? He writes a yearly publication. Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett. Yeah. 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 I heard, I heard. Uh, it, he writes it to his shareholders with. Uh, 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 Herc Hath- Hathaway, Herkshire Hathaway, mm. writes a yearly column. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Cool. See. What about you? So you got into crypto now, and then what else? You've you've been an author, business owner. Yeah. Now. Now, um, uh, after I came back to the business and all these things, uh, just to be frank, uh, all the other years I was not. Um, I was I was not marketing myself. Okay. I just was marketing my company or marketing the investments or my books and other things. I wasn't marketing myself as Zahra Al mm-hmm. Darwish. So does Zahra want to be an influencer now? Um. يعني مو بلحق. بس إن influencer in uh, not like uh, the lifestyle and other things, but uh, an influencer in. In, uh, in 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 woman empowerment like mm-hmm. how we can set her priorities how she can be the best of herself mm-hmm. okay uh, especially you know that the woman 
uh, always she have someone behind her. It's either her husband or kids or mother or father. You know, uh, she's not alone. She's always coming with something with her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, so she have to set her priorities. She have to know exactly what to do mm-hmm. to reach her self happiness. Okay, and uh, you know, so I, I want to influence in that in that side, like. Uh, to show up more in these things. But Matt Hus, I mean, this is an interesting conversation I have a lot on the show where I, a lot of girls who come on, they, they talk about the, you know, all Yibari Zawajun because they want to have freedom. And I could... Yibari Zawajun have freedom? Have freedom. And I could have freedom. What are you talking about? You go, oh, Lena, min aayti, they tell me uh, I cannot wear this. I cannot غيّح شع حياة أو شع شع. Is that how she knows? Maybe her husband is more worse than her family. And she, uh, this is what this is the stories I hear this a lot, a lot, a lot. And they said when I, I when marry, خلاص, I will do what I want. اشتغل وح travel وح كذا وح كذا. And I, I look at them. So this is not the watch. This is. Yeah, it's not. It's like a مصلحة. Hey, يعني if if this is يعني وش تبغى قول حي يعني tell this to your family and say. Yalla, bye. I, I'm go- See, there is some this is strange. Some families which is very strict, especially the Bedouins and all those things. Hey. <laughs> 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 oh boy. لا my dad he grew up in a Sahara. Oh, ما شاء الله. كنت أسأله عنك فقال إنك أنت سعودي وألماني. ألماني نصي ألماني نصي سعودي. He was the black sheep of the family with a foreign wife, طبعا. He was what? The black sheep. But I mean, he grew up in Saudi when there was no kahaba. ما شاء الله. He told me when when his uncle when when they jaw sayah. They would give they, when it, the car would come, the Abd would bring the uh, food, حق الحصان, and hmm. they would put it in front of the car. <laughs> <laughs> so this is it was a very different world. I mean, he told me growing up without electricity. Wow. Uh, he would tell me waking up at five o'clock and just dripping in just sweat. Okay. <laughs> And he said, you, 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 it mat- يعني, you couldn't sleep in. He would call me. And he said, I'm going to You just, mat- you can't relax. You can't relax. He was in the bed or the desert or the desert? He was in the desert. He was in the desert. And they would go all the way from Iraq almost. And they would go all the way to 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 uh, to Anats Anats طبعا بالبحر and so they would go there حق الصيف وبالشتاء طبعا يروحون بالصحراء because otherwise you know there's no way in the summer you can survive out there so قال ما يبغى يرجع البر ولا مرة ولا مرة he would he would see it and يعني we would drive on the highway مع بعض بالجبال للريال and he would look out and he go لا والله مستغرب على كيف حصل امك امك كانت جايه من المانيا هنا ولا هو راح المانيا ولا شو الوضع؟ والله يو جاب غريب هي وانت امريكا تستدي لكلي هي جات من السعوديه بالسبعينات الاوورد حق المدرسه اي ما شاء الله وراح لامريكا او هناك اي وعايش حياته وقال والله اي نيفر ثوت اود كم باك للسعوديه Okay. بس قالت ام امه عيب ما لازم لازم توجع يعني من جود من جود اي سو ذاتس وات هي ديد اند هي كيم باك اند هي دازنت ريجريت ات هي سيد ان انذر وورلد ميبي هي وود هاف بين كل حياته بالامريكا يس 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 في كثير من السعوديين طلعوا ونيفر كيم باك اوكي انت الحين نعم سعودي مش بحريني لا سعودي اوكي اوكي جوازي سعودي بعد بس الحياة بحرين طبعا احلى أيه. اسهل انت والله ما جسر يعني طق 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 جسر يعني تحص ترتاح بالبحرين يو دونت هاف يعني ال يو دونت هاف الريجيليشنز قويه بالسعوديه حتى السي ار تبغى تشتغل شيكه تبغى تفتح على كيفك على كيفك بالبحرين ماتش مور ايزي الهول بروسس اتس ايزي اوكي جود اكزاكتلي يعني تغيرت طبعا السعوديه. هاو از هاو از دبي تشينج ان ذا لاست كابل ييرز؟ تغيرت واجد او اتس ابوت ذا سيم؟ دبي؟ اي 
وايد تغيرت ما شاء الله انت تنام وتصحى شيء شيء جديد طالع عندك بنايه طالعه ما ادري شو طالع يعني تبوم تبوم دلوقتي يعني بس انت كان ما كان عندكم المطوع زي عندنا يوف نيفر هاد ذس مطوع؟ اي يوف نيفر هاد المطوع زي عندنا بالسعوديه شو المطوع؟ يعني تصحى الريليجيوس بوليس اه لا احنا ما عندنا لا لا never had it. لا لا استغربت ان عندكم شرطه شرط شرطه الاداب تسمونها؟ اي ايه شرطه الاداب يعني وي كول ات مطوع اه اوكي so لانه هو اكيد في الشرطه بيكون في اقسام يعني فاكيد في I mean شرطه شيء شرطه شيء بس انتم كلهم اوه اي اقطع اقطع اي ريمبر اي جيت فلاش باكس الحين تذكر ايامك والله ذاك الايام اي ريمبر يعني ما تخلوه مثلا بتروح تمشي بالشارع من شورتس ما يخلونك اللي يجي اتك الريال بعد اي لا 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 ولا بالالبو وان عندك بعد القميص تحت الالبو اف ويضبونك اي اي ريمبر باك ذن ات واز فيري ديفرنت سبحان الله اند ذي وود اف يو هاد ساتلايت ديش اون يور هاوس ذي وود كلايم اون توب اوف يور هاوس اند ريب ات داون يا ذير واز ا فيموس كيس سم جاي كلايم اب ان سم ونز هاوس اند تراي تو ريب اوف ذا ديش هو راح فوق وشوت ذا جاي مع المسدس اوف وراح طبعا الكورت وقال انت كيف عشان السلسلة اي هو هي شاطه مام قال ما كيف تذبح على مام وقال الرجال طيب انا عندي حيين بالبيت ماني داي من الرجال راح فوق بالسيلينج و... على طول <تصفيق> <تصفيق> على طول ما في لعب سو هي تدني من قد الفرصه سبحان الله ات واز از فيري سترينج تايم انا لا أم... اذكر لما كنت في البنك مم. كنا قاعدين نشتغل على بروجكت يخص الستوك ماركت وشي للبنك يعني مم. وكنا جايبين شركه من السعوديه اللي بتسوي لنا الابلكيشن وهذا فكان شيء واحد باكستاني وياها مهندس ديفلوبر وشي فكنت اساله ذيك الايام تخيل يعني ايام قديمه يعني اساله اقول كيف الحياه عندكم في السعوديه اسمعها وايد صعبه وشي قال لي يس يس يو نو وات وي دو قلت له وات وي دو ون سي الله اكبر يعني خاصه ايام الجمعه وي جو ان ووك ان ذا ستريت قلت له سو اون ذا بوليس دي تيك اس الشرطه ياخذونهم يودونهم السجن اي اي ليش وقت الصلاه انتم طالعين كنت المفروض في المسجد تصلون اي 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 زين وانت شو مستفيد قالوا انا يعطونا برياني اي 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 I I I it was at, at some points it was really crazy. I mean I remember bil bil shaykat hag al petrochemical ushqal they had kahul. Hut? Kahul. Kahul. Ala bil bil masana yani because they used for 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 manufacturing. Yes. Hag al petrol wazayt ushqal bil plastic. So so they had alcohol but this is not alcohol tissue. Um, okay, ال- 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 um, I forgot the name. Hagel, Hagel, the kind of alcohol. This is, يعني, if you drink it, you die. Hey, هذا ال- 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 medical one, yeah. E. Yeah, e. Okay. And so, so people, the amal would would steal منه the tank. Is it? They would put some cola, you shabuno, and thirty people mato. Or oh, lots of people went blind. Oh my God. So they had to change the alama. They had to change the wording in Khul. They had to hide it. So people would stop going there and drinking it. It was, I mean, um, it was strange times. Hey, maga, maga, ghaib. Hey. Even in the bills, the shaykats, the sabak, or amk, if they would go outside to, for meetings or shal, they would not pay for Khul. So if you, if you would have like, Asha, for example, a conference, طبعا بالويست بالامريكا وشغال في طبعا طبعا بالهوتيل وشغال سو السابق وعمك وشغال ذي وود باي الاكل بس يقول البيل حق الكحول انا ما بدفع سترينج ات واز فيري سترينج تايم اتس تشينج ناو سبحان الله الحين عادي عندهم الحمد لله والله ام بي اس حلو ساعدنا ساعدنا واجد يلا حياه شوف قبل قبل وات 5 ييرز اجو حيم ودنت بي ابل تو درايف السعوديه يا حي ما شاء الله اي يو هاد تو جيت بيرميشن من من ابوك او تو 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 جو اون بايسيكل نخليك الصياد دي دينت الاو بايسيكل حق حيم اوكي مساكين والله اي ولا ولا بايسيكل ولا شيء الحين الامور طيبه الحين حسنت الموضوع واجد الحين يعني تقدر تروح وتشتغل وشغال بيفور ذن واز صح صعب واي نو واي نو واي نو واي نو واي ايوه يلا الحمد لله الحمد لله حسن الاحسن اي اي لوت ايزير لوت ايزير 
Miss Halas, Sophia, anything else you want to bring up? Anything else you want to talk about your book that you're bringing up? Maybe some names <laughs> where people want to find you? Maybe a webinar? Hey, um, not talking about the book. Hey, it's a bit on the author. We talked about the stock market, the market, the crypto. I mean, you were in the funding and exchange, Ushlal. Huh? So, do you want to talk about a few minutes for your book? What's what's the stories? Give me some of them. Um, okay, it's a. Uh, I, I, I want to I want to say like why I start writing the books. Of course, yeah, go for it. See, uh, since I was a kid, actually, I was writing books. Uh, not not writing books. I mean, I, I was writing mm-hmm. uh, poems and uh, writing a sm- uh, small stories and all these things, short stories. But um, uh, again, always the trigger is the family. And uh, for me, my first trigger, it was my first kid. Mm-hmm. And... Um, Uh, what happened is actually, and and that's what I'm saying. I want to be an influencer for the for this thing. Um, I was uh, because this was my first experience, mm-hmm. uh, my first kid. Um, uh, I got some allergies or something like that. So after my delivery, I was not uh, able to sit uh, like a, I should go to this chemo or something like that. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, I don't know, they gave me a medicine or something um, and uh, I got no milk anymore. Mm-hmm. So I was not able to breastfeed her. Eskina. Yeah. So she was the only one from my all other kids, I have four, mm-hmm. uh, who Mashallah. did not uh, breastfeed it. Um, so uh, it happened. Uh, I haven't told her and only my family knows and some close people to me. And I said no one to spell the word and tell her. Hmm. So I don't want her to feel bad, you know, especially that she she see that I'm um, with her other siblings, but not with her. This will be a bad thing. Hmm. But I don't know who spell it, and he to, uh, is uh, someone told her. أخوها. والله ما لا أخوها الصغير هي العودة أكبر واحدة هي البتشر. ممكن ممكن. أخوها كيف يا؟ I'm just guessing. Usually kids fight. هم توم and Jerry بصراحة مستحيل سبحان الله ما تدري. And then someone spit it and told her. So one day, well, she came to me and she told me, it's, it's true that you did not breastfeed me. Hmm. I told her, uh, who told you? She said, not important who told me. <laughs> <laughs> But it's not true. MashaAllah, Aliha, Hakat. Now, MashaAllah, it's about the first uh, UAE uh, ski, uh, skier. Oh, wow. فل, uh, on her age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too. ما شاء الله فيها فالحين 15 سنه ما شاء الله وهذا الموضوع استوى لما كانت هي تسع سنوات وشي فتخيل انا وقتها اي واز ثينكينج لايك اي هاف تو رايت ذس بوك لان شي ديد نوت بليف مي شي سيد نو بيكوز اي واز ذا فيرست وان يو فيلت نيجلكتنت اند يو دونت ونت تو دو ات عمرها تسعه يو نو هاو ذي ار صعب وانا انسانه حساسه <تصفيق> فتحسست الموضوع وايد فقلت في خاطري نو 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 الحين انا كل ما ابغى افهمها شيز نوت She don't want to understand. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I said, there is only one way I can tell her. It's by writing the book. I have to take all my, you know, like uh, my hobbies and habits and everything. And I have to collect it all in this one book. And I have to write it to her. And Alhamdulillah, I, I wrote it for her. And I got a publisher and I published it. And it was in uh, Sharjah Fair, uh, book fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, I published it there. And uh, Alhamdulillah, uh, the people who read it, they, especially that uh, the expats and uh, you know the foreign people who don't read Arabic, mm. they were very fond with the idea and all this thing. And they told me that we want you to translate it. In fact, because we want to, we want to read it and uh, understand how deep is this what you what you wrote. And uh, that uh, every woman, she should know that she should breastfeed her kid because it's healthy for them. And it is, uh, you know, like, uh, it's, 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 it's keep that bound between the hey. mother and the kid and all this thing. Hey. And um, I translated the book. So the translated book, it's uh, published by this year mm-hmm. and uh, in Sharjah Book Fair as well. 
and uh, in between as uh, i told you i i wrote a novel as well yes it's uh, actually drama. yes it's a crime it happened in ski dubai mm -hmm. so it's like um it's a very very nice twist uh, and actually i'm planning to make it like a, a serial or a movie or something Ooh, because it's, okay. it's 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 different you know like um uh, whoever read it they cannot know exactly who is the killer until the last two or three pages. Have you pitched so, it to Netflix? Which one? Or you haven't pitched it? Pitched well, it not not yet. I have to know how to pitch these things. I okay. told you I, I'm not strong in this part, so okay. I don't know how to do it. Uh, I want to find a way to do it. But uh, yeah, I want I want to pitch it. And I spoke with Shahid. Mm -hmm. They sent me a link. They said, well, I'll put it there. This will be like a competition. I, this thing. I said, I don't want competition. I want you to go and... We, you have a meeting. <laughs> yeah, at least meet it. Yeah. They just put it inside the, this thing and push it. So that what happened. And uh, I have this uh, co-author book with uh, uh, three uh, 37 ladies mm -hmm. who are inspired ladies and strong ladies, very empowered mm -hmm. and uh, very successful. And we wrote about our journey in this book. Mm -hmm. so, um, yeah. So I have some other publications and these things. Um, and, but uh, I mean, if, if, if I, my advice to you is start a podcast, because at least that way you'll be able to network like you won't believe. By podcasting, yeah? I, 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 the amount of you know, people you get to meet and learn about, it's very amazing. Mm -hmm. um, especially from like, never in my life did I think I would know somebody who was so from Bahrain, they've done a Netflix TV show. And I know the producer from Bahrain because of the podcast. Yeah, oh. otherwise I would have never yeah, any any false to meet him. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. And so yes. for for that, it's amazing. Like I would have never had the situation otherwise to meet a, a great author and learn more about your work yeah, and why you're going you. to crypto and a situation ma ma your perspective of how things have changed in history ma bil UAE. Like this is yeah. a unique experience. Yeah. And, and before you, I had a guy on who's a Michael Jackson impersonator. Ah. Who's Pakistani? Ah, I know him. I know him. <laughs> and I, I, I feel like I'm the luckiest man in the world. Yeah. Yani you get to meet. He's one of my entertainers, right? Now. Really? <laughs> yeah. We talk about small world. Yes. yes Unbelievable. Yes, yes. <laughs>